The MITRE coverage of the Use Case Manager app is so incredible that I do not, honestly do not know whether this is going to be one video or more than one, but we'll see. So the first thing that I want to show is that this is the place where you edit, modify the MITRE uh, tactics and technique that a particular rule contributes to. So notice that when you hover over here, it tells you the mapping source. Of course, this is the, the tactic is discovery, the confidence is high, and, and that confidence is what gives you the intensity of the color, the darker blue, it means high confidence, etc. And, um, and notice that in here it's saying the mapping source is actually the name of the rule. So this comes from a rule, this one also comes from the rule, but this one comes from a dependency, that building block that we see here, right? Now, if you want to modify any one of these, you click obviously on the edit button to change that. And why is it that you only get discovery and initial access? Let me actually go back to, well, because we are modifying the rule here. We're not modifying the building block. So we're not going to see credential access because that gets defined in that building block. So that's what we, when we click here, we only see discovery and initial access. Notice also that in here is saying between parentheses IBM default, meaning this is the way that IBM set this up, right? And you can modify it as we're going to be doing in a minute, but notice that the button for deleting this tactic is grayed out. You cannot dis delete this. You can disable it if you don't want it to contribute, but you cannot delete it. Notice that every time that you make a change to something, you have also the capability of reverting going back to the original thing, uh, original setting from IBM. So let's go back there. I'm not going to make any changes yet, right? So let's say that you want to, you know, modify the actual techniques from this tactic, but you can add additional tactics and, uh, right? And you always get that button in there and those tactics are enabled, but you need to specify what is the confidence that you need to give those. Otherwise, when you try to save it, it's going to warn you, say, no, no you need to give me the, the confidence in here. And of course, you can add uh, not only technique, but also tactics themselves, right? And, you know, and now you select the tact, the, the for example, privilege escalation in there, right? So let's actually try to save this. Oh, we need to specify here a confidence. Let's see, I, I should be able to save this. And now my MITRE has this privilege escalation that I did before. I can revert by clicking in here and put things back and, you know, this I can revert and put it back the way it was. And this one, because it's not IBM default, I can actually delete. Okay, and now things are exactly as I found them. Let's close this. Another thing that was added is more details here on the columns on what you can select from MITRE and you can specify on the tactics if it's a dependencies, building block and rules, or only on the uh, the rule level, both on the tactic as well as the technique. You can put the tactic ID and show it, and the technique ID, and those, those numbers are important uh, for many people to have something defined by MITRE, and th this thing has been standardized, whether it's enabled, the confidence, and the w whether it comes from the rule or the dependency can also be shown in there. Uh, because the only place that you can change now the mapping of, for MITRE in Curator, it is this app. You, In case that you need to do it from any external place, you still can do so by exercising the APIs for the use case manager. And notice that you have all these things on the mappings that you can uh, share. And there have been other videos where I cover that. Let's go back to the use case manager. I almost forgot to mention that 
if you come new to use case manager version 3 and you haven't installed any previous one when you go here on the configuration you will find a banner that I, I don't have because I, I've been using it before that uh, encourage you to uninstall the old way of doing this which was uh, I have it written down because its name is so long the cyber adversary framework mapping app so it was detected but is no longer required and then has a button for installing so do that because this should be the only place that you modify the setting let's continue with more miter coverage for the use case manager here this has a uh, very nice thing. Let me cover the ones that I will not be showing right away, which is this export all is equivalent to the backup that I mentioned in the first video. Uh, you can do it from the admin tab or you can do it from here. And and this export is in, in case that you have a subset of the actual rules that you're working with and you want to export those, you can do it in here and get in JSON format in there. And of course, the import is the corresponding button for that. Let's talk about this graph that it was present in, in in previous uh, versions of it. Let me actually get rid of the filters to get more space. And, uh, you know, the one thing that this uh, thing has is that the previous version, when you scroll up or down, then these things will scroll with it. And now it, it's you, you still get that. That's a usability detail. And of course, you get here the, the different colors based on the confidence and and you get the coverage and remember that you can actually get this in a in a full page and zoom in and zoom out and, and all that right so I mentioned that on the navigation aspect on the first uh, video now what else can it is significant here as before, if you are interested in a particular technique and you want to get the details from MITRE, you click on that link and that takes you straight there, right? Let's talk about uh, these two remarkable places in here, the highlight groups and highlight software. So let's say that I'm looking for a particular, you know, the Russians. So I'm looking for the tactics and technique and I want to filter them by APT29. And when I click there, Notice that, and I can select more than one, of course. Notice that I get on that kind of a pinky indicator that those tactics and techniques, it is known to be used by the Russian guys. And if you're looking for a particular type of malware, let's say that I'm looking for Agent Tesla. Well, when, I, when you click that, notice that you get now this uh, purple bar indicator and say you know, these are tactics and techniques where we have used that piece of malware being used this is actually very very neat i like it so i just want to point out a detail that, and i added additional software in here and here is the combination where the tactic or the technique is actually being used by the russians and out of those pieces of software that I'm looking for, those malware are also, they coincide in this particular case. So nice visibility detail. So actually remove those for visibility. I, I don't need to, but another thing is that I'm going to talk about this button here. You can select some tactics in here. Say that I'm interested on this one and I put that filter. Notice that that filter goes there. If you want to add another one, uh, you need to click control. And then, for example, I'm going to click this one, internal spear phishing, and that one goes there. If, if Notice that if I click just without the control, then this overrides the other two that were there, right? So again, I'm going to select this one, and let's say that is, I don't remember which one it was, but say that it was this one. So by clicking control, you can add as many as, as you want. Here's a another one and another one. Well, on this filter, what it's really saying is that if I, I'm showing you all the techniques in here, but if I want to see only the ones that are covered by these four filters I just added, I just flip this switch and here I have them. I'm going to talk about this button here. Now, don't forget that there is a, what the, the app developer call here a report, which is a, a view here of a subset of uh, actual rules, right? 
So let's say that, uh, let me bring the, you know, let's, let's add some, I'll bring the filters back and I'm gonna bring uh, uh, some, I can do a filter in, it, it can actually be here, it can be, it doesn't have to be a miter by the way. Let me try here on the other test, uh, for example, the log sources that I have not used. I mean, there, there are parsers in QReader, but I don't have them installed in my system and see how many do I get by applying that. And I get 15. Okay, so these 15 are the ones on the report. And, and this is the coverage with all the rules, right? But if I flip this, switch in here then only those those uh, that those 15 rules contribute to are going to be seen here so now if you see there is a small subset of those uh, the one contributed by those 15 rules this video is getting uh, way too long so i'm going to make a part two on the miter to cover the other aspects of it